The IET in North Yorkshire is proud to present Andy Sutton talking to Paul Elsom about 4G long-term evolution mobile technology. So what is 4G in a nutshell? Well, 4G is the latest generation of mobile communications technology. It's a mobile broadband multimedia technology, so rather than being voice centric, it's very much a mobile data solution. Why do you think it's a game changer? 4G is amazing compared with previous generations from a data perspective. So it's got much higher data rates in the downlink, but also the uplink, so the connection from the mobile phone to the network is much faster and the latency is much lower. So overall the experience is a lot more interactive, a lot more immersive. And what new experiences does it give the customer? Mm -hmm. 4G enables a whole host of new applications, uh, mobile broadband, uh, high, high quality video distribution, uh, mobile TV, and a whole host of uh, applications, including location, that the low latency services mean interactive gaming, video, etc. as well. And with 4G, how does it change mobile devices? Mm -hmm. Well, we've seen a slow evolution from the traditional mobile phone through the feature phone to the smartphone. So smartphones now are having kind of ever larger screens because people are consuming more multimedia broadband content. We're seeing new form factors with tablets now. Tablets are very popular. Uh, and again, a whole range of new mobile devices, mobile Wi-Fi devices, etc., uh, that allow a number of Wi-Fi devices to connect and then use the 4G network to connect back up to the internet. So a whole host of new devices, but very much about consuming multimedia content. And from a coverage perspective, when can we get it? Okay, well, 4G is available today. Um, there's over 2 million customers on the EE network today. It covers 70% of the UK population. Plans are to extend that coverage throughout the year to over 90% of the UK population and beyond that in 2015. And with a good 4G um, signal, will you still need home broadband? Yes, indeed. Uh, home broadband is a very different kind of product, a, a different proposition really. I mean, as EE, we offer a fibre-based fixed product as well as a mobile broadband experience. So we, we see the two developing and some synergies between the way they're used. Uh, we also see certain use cases in uh, maybe remote rural areas, for example, so Cumbria. Uh, in that particular area, we recently launched a product where we deliver a fixed broadband alternative to areas where they have no fixed broadband coverage using 4G radio rather than cable for connection to the network. So we see opportunities throughout the UK for that kind of application. But in the main, you know, we'll see the evolution of fixed and mobile services in parallel. Okay. And what comes after 4G? Okay. Well, we're just seeing the early days of 4G today, of course, with uh, 2G, with 3G. We saw an evolution of those technologies from the, the launch and, until the time they were replaced or you know, new technology came along to complement them. So 4G is in the same place. You know, we're starting to see 4G evolve. The next step is LTE Advanced, so the kind of evolution of 4G. Uh, we recently saw this demonstrated in London where we took a 20 megahertz LTE channel, aggregated it with a second 20 megahertz channel using a technique called carrier aggregation. And as a result of this, we achieved peak data rates of 300 megabits per second. So there's lots of evolution within 4G yet. We're going to see higher speeds, more capacity, new services, new innovation. But of course, naturally over time, we'll evolve to a fifth generation of mobile broadband technology. Uh, 5G is starting as a research concept now, very fundamental research at the moment. It typically takes about 10 years to develop a new generation of uh, mobile broadband technology or mobile technology generally. So uh, GSM started in 1982. We saw the networks launch in 92, 93, 94. So it's about the right time now to be working on 5G, plans to bring 5G to standardization and realization about 2020. So in about 10 years from now, we'll be seeing 5G networks launch as a natural complement to that evolved 4G network. And, and is 4G the most exciting development of your career? I, it's certainly up there with the best, without a doubt. I mean, I've worked in the industry long enough to remember the introduction of GSM, so 2G technology, and that was exciting in as much as we had clear digital mobile telephony, the ability to roam abroad, etc. But 4G is a game changer. I mean, it really is hugely exciting technology. It's not just about the network itself, uh, the network is faster, you know, it's got lower latency, it's more interactive, uh, but also it enables a whole host of this new applications, triumph, developments, 
many ideas that we haven't even considered today. You know, it's, it very much is constrained by our imagination, that's all. So therefore, it's hugely exciting for people studying engineering today, GCSE, A-level, university, uh, engineering at a network level, an application level. You know, the opportunities within this 4G ecosystem are incredible and very, very exciting, yes. For the good of all of us, except the ones who are dead, but there's no sense crying over The IET, the Institution of Engineering and Technology, here to inspire, inform and influence the global engineering community, supporting technology innovation to meet the needs of society.